good morning students uh, today the 18th of uh, jan 2022 let's uh, start our hrm class uh, yesterday on 17th january 2022 uh, in the video class we have learned about the placements uh, the subject the concept called placement and uh, um, the definition the definition and uh, uh, the significance of placements and how the placements will be effective and uh, the problems that we face in uh, uh, in uh, in the process of placement so um, today we will continue our class by studying the a concept called induction uh, like induction or orientation is uh, the word induction or orientation is like any time that you are uh, uh, getting into a new uh, place of work or a new place of uh, like uh, when you're joining a college or a school uh, you, you will ask out further saying that what are the uh, what are the primary rules and regulations that the college follows what are the uh, the the where, where these uh, schools or colleges are uh, being registered with like uh, cbses or state syllabuses or any uh, other uh, like uh, like any other uh, institutions they are registered with so such kind of information that you ask for a prospectus for uh, for for school so that you can get a primary understanding of uh, the uh, for the school or the college that you gonna join and study a similar way when you start your uh, when you start working with an organization the the first uh, the, the initial days the day one or day two uh, what you will see is like induction induction or orientation programs that you will see like induction or orientation programs consist of uh, they uh, consist of you getting introduced to the group of people that who are already working with the uh, with the organizations the teams that are working the team members that are work already working in that uh, organizations you've been introduced to them and uh, <clears throat> so that you can you get familiarized with the employees <coughs> familiarized with the employees who you gonna work along with in your uh, as a part of your job and uh, uh, th this process will help uh, uh, will help you and uh, to understand the uh, organization and uh, you it, it will also clarify the terms and conditions of the employment that you are getting into and uh, it also specifies the job requirements and uh, <coughs> it will also uh, it will also uh, give you confidence with the inf confidence uh, confidence means uh, when you know all the information like what is that you're gonna do in that organization what is your job responsibilities are what is the uh, what is the money that you're gonna monetary benefits or uh, welfare benefits that you're gonna get um, in that organization so it gives your confidence uh, to you to start up a new uh, new <coughs> uh, as a new newcomer to the, uh, the organization so induction or oriented pro orientation program is primarily uh, focused to make you familiarize with the people who are working uh, in the same organization and who you gonna work along with with the organization to do your job and uh, it will also in turn provides you the terms and conditions of your employment and general policies and procedures that are being followed by the company and uh, the company bylaws are being um, the, the information about the company bylaws are being provided to you and um, the objectives of induction is the objective of induction is you becoming as a uh, new employee to that company and uh, you you will be you will be 
provided with the information of what are the business objectives that uh, the business is being conducted for and uh, what are the pri what are the final uh, organization objectives that they have set that they have set <coughs> The, the 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 primary business uh, objectives that they that they have uh, the the organization has set and uh, the mission statements the history and traditions and policies uh, the achievements that the organization has achieved till now all those information will be given to you and uh, to introduce new employee to their colleagues and superiors and subordinates etc the induction program will introduce any new employee coming into the company uh, or the 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 primary introduction of uh, like uh, the, the like uh, uh, the staff that he has to get in touch in doing his course of business or in case of doubts who who he has to um, go and meet or uh, so such kind of uh, uh, so such kind of uh, information will be provided in the induction program and uh, uh, it it will also uh, list out the colleagues superiors and subordinates in doing the job and uh, uh, induction program will also help the new employee to be a positive mental attitude towards the organization like organization and uh, in the minds of employees so uh, when you are given uh, when you are provided with a uh, enough uh, uh, information about the organization that you gonna uh, start your career with so it will it will give you a confidence and it will give you a positive attitude towards the organization and uh, you can start venture out your new new job opportunity with that organization it also helps uh, <coughs> <clears throat> it also helps the employee to understand his own job responsibilities and uh, workplace expectations of the organization all those information will be provided and uh, that will in turn help him uh, help him in following and adhering all those policies that are be that are to be followed out and uh, <clears throat> that are to be followed out uh, in his business course of action and what is the need for uh, induction is uh, the first and foremost thing is the reduction in the cost and time so uh, when you when someone is coming in, newly coming into your business or, uh, or organization as an employee uh, if you make them understand your requirements and if you make them understand the objectives of the business and uh, it will in turn it, it it will in turn not leave them to understand by themselves and uh, predict by themselves or presume by themselves so it will make make them understand what is the organization goals and what is their job responsibilities and who they have to go report and in case of difficulties who they have to get in touch with so all those information will will curtail the cost and time so it will in turn like when you when you provide them with a proper training and development uh, training and uh, um, uh, in initial training uh, before starting the uh, before starting doing the job uh, they, they will be knowing that uh, how to do the job and it will not waste a, it will not waste the time and also the resources that you have employed in doing the business uh, so it will it will in turn help them understand the uh, understand the time and cost that uh, that is involved in the um, 